big one, really big one, really big one. If it's a bass, it is, it's a bass. Knockout round here, Santee Cooper. Post frontal, cold day. Believe it or not, I think it's gonna fit well for what I wanna do. It is tough conditions overall, but for the way I'm fishing, I think it'll kind of fit to fit to my strengths. And you know, it's gonna take some weight. The weights have gotten slowly better all week. So it's gonna take, you know, 35 to 40 pounds. It's not gonna be easy to get in that championship round. Welcome to this video of the Trimmed Up series here at Santee Cooper. This specific video is brought to you by General Tire. You know, I've been with General Tire for almost five years now, whether it's the ATXs or the X3s like I have on my truck now. Um, depending on what you drive, whether it's a small truck, an SUV, a compact car, go to generaltire.com, click on their tire finder. It'll locate the right tire for your car setup. If you've got custom rims, you can put that in there too. It's gonna locate the right tire for you. So check them out, generaltire.com. Old fashioned thing, your wheel. It's a rope. You ever seen one before? <laughs> I have 10 foot power poles, so I don't ever have to do this, but it's 12 foot deep right here. What's up? What's up? It's <laughs> knockout round. That's what's up. You know, it's, it's always good to make the knockout round. Like my realistic goal, now I want to win every tournament, but my realistic goal is to make the knockout round at every event. So far, we're two for two. That guarantees a top 20 finish, good points, and then the rest is just kind of the icing on the cake. You know, I, this is one I, I really, really like to do well at because when I looked at this one on the schedule, it scared me. Like a pre-spawn swamp event, I mean, but we've we've made the most of it this week, and I think I think we got a little more potential. There's one sitting in that. It looks like a big one. I just wanted to check. All right. I'm gonna make a really kind of fast rotation on some stuff this morning, and I want to know whether or not I need to hardcore focus on some of this or leave it. I mean, it's got the biggest stumps in the whole creek down this stretch. You know what, we're gonna leave here and it's gonna be 80 degrees next week. It's gonna be warm for the next two weeks across the whole country and we're gonna get to Lay Lake and we're gonna have an ice storm. That's how that's gonna go, in case you were wondering. I really wish they would bite cool stuff because I would love to throw a big spinnerbait down there and just go chop, 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 chop. <laughs> like a decent one. Not giant, but all right. Number one. Look at how white that fish is. Two pounds, twelve ounces. Two and three quarters. Alright, not a bad little fish there. Good way to start. Knock out around. And I got water all down my arm when I, when I lifted that fish up. Starting off, I'm, I'm shaking the minnow. You know, it may look like I'm doing what I was doing at Toledo, um, but it's really, it's a lot different. Without going into too crazy detail on it, I'm, I'm, I'm fishing isolated stumps and brush with it. A lot of the fish I can't even see. They're hanging so tight to the cover, so I'm having to make repeated casts. Getting them to bite is, is a challenge, but you know, I'm fishing a lot of stuff. Now I've got some brush piles are getting pressure. Stumps, not so much. I'm fishing really really specific stuff here just hoping that some of it you know reload i've actually fished this stump three days and that's the first bass i've caught on it so it's they're they're, they're hard to catch but you got to put the bait right in front of them i can't see them they're sitting so tight to the stump so you know if i throw to the left of the stump or over the top of the stump and they're sitting on the other side of it it's a dead cast It's a bass, it's a good one maybe. It's a bass. Golly, like fourth cast at that stump. Never saw that fish. Look at the fatty too. Look at that chonker, dude. Little baby chungus. Look at the belly on that one. That's a four something. Four pounds, 10 ounces. It's like so dirty for the technique that I'm doing, but if you're specific enough, it's just pretty legit. Oh, come on, you just gonna follow it like that? That's torture. That's torture. Right, way too loose. They're not bad. So they hook. They're not hook great. Not even okay. I hadn't adjusted my drag from that last catch. Got a little lucky there. Three pounds, nine ounces. We'll take those all day long. 
Ah, he followed it for so. I about set the hook on him right there. He didn't bite it though. I thought you'd put him in the boat. And don't stop and fish that one right by that dot. That was going to be my next stop. Gosh, he bit it. Gosh, dang it. Bad cast. Cost me that fish right there. I had one think about it, but all he did was think about it, and it was a giant one. But he didn't really think about it that hard. No way those are both fast, right? No, I don't have time to make another cast, so we're just going to get comfy here. One in the first period. We had a really good start, and then it kind of tapered off. I think, I, what, I catch like three in the first 45 minutes? Yeah. And then, uh, been a while without a bite, but, you know, the way I'm fishing, I'm around fish, and that's really all you can ask for. And, uh, you know, I, I think I probably could have had another two bites if I just been a little bit more dialed on, on my on my cast and how I was approaching the cover. So I'm just going to try to do a better job of that in the next period. And Lucas has got four for 26. Is that right? Lucas has four for 26. Holy smokes. There was one on it. Finally pulled one. Golly. It took me how many casts? I just pulled two off of it. After all those casts, there's two sitting on it. One thing I have noticed, dude, there's a lot more bait. Borderline too much. Big old water crappie up there. I think it's it's a lot of timing right now and right time right place i'm putting my bait in front of more fish than i know what to do with to be honest uh, haven't found somewhere where they really want to go yet the big one this is a big fish a big fish Please stay hooked. I haven't seen it yet. I don't know if it's, it's four or five pounder. All right, there we go. See, your luck can change in just one cast. Four pounds, six ounces. All right. Little tubbers, man. We've had almost three hours without a bite. Probably longer than three hours, actually. And so to get one, whew, that feels good. That feels real good. So frustrated right now. I thought we were gonna make the top 10 easy after the way we started. What a freaking grind. It ain't supposed to be this hard. All right, I'm gonna get this back and we're gonna go. Kidding me. Alright, let's go boys. This is gonna suck. I think we're safe now. Big one. Really big one. Really big one. If it's a bass, it is. It's a bass. Biggest one of the day for sure. Oh, stay up, baby. Thanks. Mm, baby, let's go. That's a freaking heavy hitter's bass right there. That's a freaking monster. Thank you, Lord. Six pounds, 12 ounces. Six and three quarters, I did better. Look at that one. We've thrown a set past so many fish like that today. Um, boy, she's so fat, so free spawn. Come on now, get on out of there. Not a giant, but we need him. I'm gonna come right here, actually. He's not big, but we'll take him. Score. Three pounds, zero ounces. All right, a little bigger than I thought. Okay. All right, another one bites the dust.
Thank you, dude. I, I had two huge lulls today, man. Just like two plus hour lulls. Can't do that. How are y'all? Good, how are you? Good. Can you, can you show my hat and my hoodie? I think this is like the most sunburned my lips maybe have ever been. Well, the good thing is we don't have to go back out again tomorrow. This place sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I never caught like an eight pounder, honestly, yeah. the way I was fishing. Finished 12th place this week. I mean, I want to say like, man, great week. I'm pretty upset right now just because I feel like I missed an opportunity at, you know, a top five finish. I was around the right kind of fish. I made some great decisions this week. I made some bad decisions this week. So, uh, you know, going to regroup, move on. We got great points. That's the most important part. We'll probably be in fourth, I'm guessing, in Angler of the Year after this uh, tournament's over. So I'm going to go from eighth to fourth. We're cutting the, cutting the gap. And... Uh, Next one's the big one. We're headed to Redcrest, and uh, you know we finished second there last year. Hopefully, we're going to improve on that. Uh, it's going to be a going to be a fun week. Lay Lake. I'm going to see you guys there.